So, uh, hello. So, um, so who are you? David Mandela. Uh, I'm the director of platforms. And what, what you're looking at that I'm playing with here is uh, from the local Dallas makerspace. Um, some guys there uh, developed this product and it's using an ARM based platform. So I, I brought it along because it's kind of cool. Yeah. It's called GoCuppy, uh, G O C U P I dot com. And what this is is uh, a device to draw on a wall of any size. And I've been drawing the Lenara logo and, and uh, of course, Tux. But the idea is this is an ARM based sock. This was a fully funded Kickstarter. So these guys are actually going into commercial production. And one of the things I've been asked many, many times by different sock vendors is why would they care about the maker folks? I mean, typically a maker buys one or two chips. But in this case, they've gotten a Kickstarter. This thing's going into commercial development. And, you know, they were, that's a huge difference. So this is real, it's in production. It's kind of cool. So I brought it along to, to nice. show. And we've been drawing penguins in the. In the uh, our logo. So they sold a whole bunch, like a bunch of people are going to get these? Yes. And uh, they they collected, uh, how much was one on the Kickstarter? They're going to go, Box. they were $250 in the Kickstarter. And so um, there's this board and it connects with the HDMI? Uh, well, what it is, is first off, all the plastics are all 3D printed. So this is truly done in, in, a, in a Dallas uh, makerspace. So all the plastics are 3D printed, they designed the boards. Um, these cables, although they're Ethernet cables, they're actually just uh, stepper motor drivers. And they brought it out to an Ethernet jack because it's convenient, but it's not actually Ethernet. So we've got two stepper motors and we've got a servo, because the servo does pin up. You can see the little servo here. It lifts this away from the board so it quits drawing, so it can move across. It's not just an etch-a-sketch, so to speak. Nice. And it draws on whiteboards, it'll draw on glass, it'll draw on paper. Uh, you can use any kind of ink you want. It's, it's really a cool project, and I brought it along because it's got a kind of a cool factor, and it's really, it is a funded Kickstarter, so makerspaces do make things, and the hundreds and thousands of chips can get consumed. Nice, and uh, you go through here, and you would type something, and then it would start drawing stuff, right? Yep, I can, uh, for example, I'll just have it draw a tux again. It'll kind of overwrite the one, but that's all right. So you just, there's the software. I'm telling it I want to draw an SVG file. I want it to scale it to 400. Uh, millimeters on its biggest axis, and that's the SVG file I wanted to draw. And it'll start drawing. It's going to overwrite it a little, but that's okay. Nice. So it just kind of gives you an idea. The SVG files are created a bit of a special way. They're all one giant line. Um, you can convert any graphic to black and white dots and then use um, some traveling salesman algorithm software to convert it to a SVG that's all one continuous line. And then uh, depending on where you want to put, you just put a different type of pen, yep. something else that you goes on you windows. Can, you can use a uh, glass ink, you can use uh, dry erase, you can use magic marker, whatever pen. And if there's some talk of you know designing it with more pens in it and changing them automatically, there's a lot of things you can do. This is just the first cut and literally this is absolutely their handmade prototype. This is the very first one, and I brought it because I thought it was kind of cool to see, you know, the early adopter and the very first one of how they built it. So it's pretty cool, and the production ones obviously will be quite a bit nicer. Um, but man, it's there's some good work here. Makers do some really cool things.